So you're looking for a few tips to get rid of rats and mice? Hi, I'm Keith McCoy. Welcome to another how-to video from Solution Self Chem. Today we're going to discuss a product called eradication. Eradication is a paraffinized block, it contains diphasinone, which causes the rodent to hemorrhage, uh, bleed internally. We can use this product both indoor and outdoor. Uh, inside, we can use it up in the attic uh, and also in areas inside the house, away from uh, kids and also pets. Outside, uh, we can use this along uh, the perimeter of homes, uh, structure, any kind of structure, commercial buildings, warehouses. Uh, today, we've got a fenced area here along this uh, flower bed, an ornamental bed, and uh, we've got some uh, holes here where some Norway rats have actually burrowed down in the ground. We're going to take some of these blocks and we're going to use them in a tamper resistant station, which is actually required any time that you're baiting outdoors. So give me a few minutes and uh, we'll be right back with you. Okay, make sure you have some uh, protective gloves, uh, eyewear. Uh, it's always a good idea to use these things, uh, especially when you're dealing with pesticides or rodenticides. Again, we're going to use a tamper proof station. The idea of this is to keep kids uh, from getting to your baits, also pets, dogs, cats. Um, it also serves another purpose, and that is to uh, uh, protect your bait from the outdoor elements. Uh, you have a stainless steel uh, uh, pin here, which has a little slot that it fits into. Our bait, uh, the eradication, has actually got a hole drilled through the uh, paraffinized block, so we're going to take that block and we're just going to skewer it, uh, and then close it up, and then we're going to place it. So we've, uh, like I said before, we found some uh, uh, burrow holes back here up against this fence area. And so we're going to take this bait station, we're going to start right here, and we're going to bait next to this burrow hole. Okay, let's get started. We're going to bait with our eradication. Keep in mind, uh, they, they are uh, pre-drilled, your bait blocks, so it's a very easy application. You just take it and you're just going to secure the bait. So yeah, we're going to put our uh, pin in place there, take our blocks and just put them right in on top of there. We want to try to use anywhere from two to eight blocks per bait placement for uh, rat activity. Uh, for mice activity, uh, you might use maybe uh, uh, one block. So, uh, but for rats, uh, that's what we're going to use here. We're going to start with two. And you want to try to uh, monitor these uh, stations. Don't let the, you don't want to go without any bait in a bait station for more than 10 days. So uh, we want to continue to make sure that the bait stations stay full, at least for, uh, for 10 days. And uh, for rat activity, we need to bait um, one of these stations about every 15 to 30 feet uh, apart. Uh, for mice activity, you might bait them every uh, 10 feet apart. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this one closed up. And it snaps in place. And then we're going to take the station and we're going to place it right up against our brick wall like so, so that the rodent enters up against the brick wall. That's uh, key because most rodents are going to run up against something. That's where they feel most comfortable. Uh, they're not likely to, to scurry out away from uh, some structure or so. So uh, keep in mind, we always want to make sure we place it up against the wall. So uh, we're going to go along here. and We're going to bait this entire wall area in this uh, uh, ornamental bed because uh, there's rodent activity all up and down here. So give me a few minutes and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we've finished up the area here along this uh, brick wall where we've had a lot of rodent activity. We've got our bait stations in place. Uh, again, we're, we've had some Norway rat activity here, so they like to burrow down the ground. Uh, we've also uh, placed these stations about 18 feet apart, uh, which is key. So remember rat activity, 15 to 30 feet. Uh, mice activity anywhere from maybe 10 to 15 feet. Um, also, when you're dealing with rats, you want to use anywhere from two to eight blocks. With mice, maybe anywhere from two to, uh, uh, two to five blocks uh, per bait uh, station. So, uh, but remember, radication, uh, great product, uh, causes hemorrhaging, so they bleed internally. Uh, usually reacts in a couple of days. We want to make sure that we keep our stations full for at least 10 days. Uh, so don't let them go empty on you. So you want to make sure you check them quite frequently. A um, couple other tips. Again, uh, remember rodents like to run up against structures. Uh, so they don't like to uh, scurry out in the middle of a flower bed or in the driveway or a patio or something like that unless they're scared. So they are most comfortable up against a structure or a wall. So make sure that's where these bait stations go. Um, other tips, uh, say an area like this where we have a lot of ornamental beds and it's real over, uh, overgrown, you might want to clean some of that out. Uh, you know, it's real important, the, the environment, the cleaner the environment, the less activity you're going to have. So keep that in mind. Um, so 
Remember, eradication to eradicate your rat and mice problem. Hey, just like any other solution self chem product, this product does come with a 100% money back guarantee. So, I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self Chem. You ask us how, then do it yourself.